Hello, fellow travelers. I'm Veronica from Human Design Journey, and we're looking at the channels. Today, we're going to look at the channel of charisma, a design where awareness must become deed. You see the 34th gate in the sacral center, the power of the great, the gate of power is connected to the 20th gate in this road, the gate of the now, the gate of contemplation. So this is power directly connected to outlet of manifestation and transformation. So you can only imagine how fast those indeed words, this energy can become deeds or how this energy can become also words. Usually it's words and then deeds. Here we have the pure manifesting generator. So all the other generator uh, manifesting generators, um, which do not have the channel of charisma, um, do not have a direct sacral connection uh, to the throat. It goes through something else. So this is why um, we're calling this version of the manifesting generator a pure manifesting generator because it's a pure manifesting potential um, which can very fast happen. So here I really love uh, the words of uh, Linda Bunnell, how she describes this channel, because she says that this is the warrior, the manifester, which must surrender to the Buddha, the generator. And this is so important. There are no five types, guys. There are four types in human design. And the generator is a type by itself and the manifesting generator and the pure generator are subtypes of the same generator type because the type comes from the aura and the aura frequency here we have open and enveloping aura and although sometimes it can be so fast here this channel and almost appear like it, it can happen so quickly that it can almost bypass the response. Yet, this is a generator aura. It's only protected when it waits to be initiated from the outside world. And these people have problems being still and standing quiet because it's about um, being. Mm. being yourself in the now, being busy, super busy. It's part of the integration. So it's busy with yourself, being busy with yourself, being busy, busy, be. Mm. And sometimes it's so fast, this busy being, there is no time to think over or to kind of um, be aware of, of, of your deeds and actions. And this generative power can immediately mm, focus on happening things, on transforming things, on mutating things. It also has acoustic frequency here. And those words can really mutate the other, but only when it's in response, only when it's the right timing, the right now. And this channel, people with this channel, they... Uh, have the tendency to not listen to other guidance. So if they would have like the 57th gate or the 10th gate, they will have inner guidance, inner intuitive guidance or inner behavioral guidance of um, self-behavior. Um, but if those are not present, and of course, Every design is very unique, very different, and we cannot really generalize. But we know that the, there is a tendency here to um, act and manifest in the moment um, without recognizing that guidance might be needed. And of course, the best guidance in this case would come from a 4323 person 
um, which can structure, can help with structuring in a projector guiding way with questions, what the SACO responds to. Uh, because proper manifesting here out of response can be of enormous benefit for society. And chaotic manifesting can be quite detrimental and destructive uh, to society. So mm, hence these people do not respond, but they manifest and they act um, out of pure mind tripping. This can really bring depression and melancholy and um, it, they can be like misguided uh, missile, basically. They don't really know if they have the aha response until they begin to respond. So uh, this can be a little bit confusing because uh, generator has to wait to respond. But with manifesting generators, um, you respond and then you start doing to to check whether it's a clear response uh, mechanism. So it can uh, easily wind up really frustrated in their personal achievement and, and life uh, and utterly ex exhausted and used. Those are the perfect slaves for somebody else when they don't wait to respond, don't wait to see what they have specifically energy for what they have their aha uh -huh for. Sometimes this channel can be actually not so verbal because it's so fast. Mm, so it, it's more like moving towards something or your energy drops away from something um, rather than aha uh -huh and aha. Uh -uh. But it depends on the entire design and of the person. Some people are uh, very uh, verbal or uh, very... Um, sound um uh you know those um sounds that this motor uh makes these spurring sounds or it might not be sound but in both cases the manifesting um, manifesting generators can really drop things in the middle of the way and feel guilty for that um but it might be correct because you respond, but you need to start doing it to see whether you really respond and whether this is really for you. So unless you want to end up trapped and um, being somebody else's workhorse and being the best slave, um, don't say or do anything without response. It's simple as that. It's generator aura. So it's open for impact. It's open for all kinds of influences. So only when you attract with your enveloping aura um, the right circumstances, people and moments and places, then, um, and you respond then to, to the correct one, depending of course on the entire design because it can be an emotional person here. Mm, and then the um, mm, authority will be different. It will be emotional authority. Still, this will always be a generator. So mm, if it's an emotional generator, it will be responding um, in the now and getting reaching clarity with time about your response. Mm, or if it's... Um, uh, generator with spleen then it will be even faster and if it's a pure manifesting generator without anything else nor spleen nor um emotions then um they should not be spontaneous although they're super fast they should wait for one moment more if there is no spleen because you don't know what's healthy for you or not so it really depends on the design. We cannot uh, generalize. Again, I'm repeating, it's important. Um, but they're common traits. And it's here we're talking about the channels, 
So please guys mind the channel is not the entire picture, although it does give us the life force which is moving this vehicle, which is moving this form and um, bringing it, the life force to, to impact other life forms. So it is what makes us unique and it is as the, at the same time uh, what limits us because we have a very specific definition in um, in a gate, line, base, tone, color. So it makes us see things through our own eyes. That's why it's you can never see from the inside of somebody else's head, from inside the eyes of somebody else. We, we're passengers in a vehicle and... Mm, nobody can enter in this vehicle, actually, except for ourselves. We have our own cognition and it's unique. Nobody else has the same. This is why the channel of charisma, as well as the other integration channels, they're self-empowering. Mm, they empower themselves to move to, to self-realization. Those are kind of the channels which um, empowerment emerges spontaneously and um, it's generally unavailable to others. It's integration. So it's, it's for yourself. And um, your genuine vitality and self-empowerment emerges um, with the pot potential to naturally inspire others just because you're being yourself. Although it's for self-empowerment, it's not for somebody else's empowerment. Yet it's acoustic mm, and it can have uh, in it melancholy. So it can be moody as well. The charisma is really charismatic. When you look at those people, they're so busy and they really um, wake up um, recognition and to see that um, force moving in the now and um, kind of bringing its um, awakeness and its contemplation it it's all the 20th gate is also um part um of a channel for higher principles so you see when you, you're responding to life correctly then this channel can really bring awareness and to the deeds, through through deeds and through words. Um, not awareness in the sense of, uh, it, it, there is no awareness center here at all. So it's not really awareness, it's actually um, while they're looking, while they're not looking, they're, they might be seeing. While they're not listening, they might be hearing. This kind of awareness in the now of, um, pure power, pure expression, uh, properly timed, um, awareness will be transformed into words or actions that impact people around and impact um, basically it's intuitive knowing for personal survival and mutative self-loving behavior which influences or empowers others by just being in the now, busy with their own, with the things they love, with their own things. And then um, through action, bringing individuation. That's what integration is about, to, um, to bring us to to the next step of being unique individuals to um, be self-empowered by our 
power, our own power. We have the gate of power here. Contemplating our, our own power. If you would like to know more about uh, the other channels, you can like and subscribe, of course, um, and visit my uh, website with the same name, humandesignjourney.com, uh, Facebook page, Instagram, and TikTok with the same name, Human Design Journey. I'm glad to share my journey with you. If you have some comments and if you have this channel, uh, please um, comment. Did you recognize yourself there? Is there something you want to add? And of course, if you're interested to go deeper, you can uh, into human design, you can look at my other videos or come work with me as um, um, with either with uh, analysis. I can give you foundation analysis or partnership analysis, psychoanalysis through different cycles of your life, different periods of your life journey, um, incarnation cross or um, analysis, which is uh, about your life purpose. And um, I'm also an LYD guide. So if you're interested to take the road to education in human design, maybe become a professional yourself, uh, um, the person to start with your education with the first living your design um, workshop, which is a workshop for cellular transformation, guys. And um, if you resonate with me, I'll be humbled uh, to give you my direction and um, ask you questions and uh, coach you if necessary on your way to personal development, to, to personal authenticity and um, centeredness in yourself, in your own authority. I'm Veronica from Human Design Journey, and I'll be glad if you come for more. Bye for now.